cheerio there and first I'd just like to apologise for my voice because I don't really have a voice at the moment but anyway my channel is famous for the XPS 15 or just XPS laptops in general I am keenly waiting for the 9570 to come out just like all of you it's one of the most common questions I get all the time so when's it coming out the only thing I can tell you is that it will be coming out when these Intel H processors are ready to come out now these are the rumoured parts here I don't know if it makes complete sense that the i5 has four cores and the i7 has six cores. I would have thought they would have both had six cores. But anyway, these are the rumoured parts. When they're ready, these Intel chips, and these are game changers here, giving us the extra two cores. When they're ready, I think that's when the XPS 15 is going to drop. Now, there is a little bit more information about the XPS 15. I haven't done a video in a while just because... There's been nothing really to talk about. So if you go down to notebookcheck.net, I'll actually leave a link in the description to this article. What we know about the XPS 15. Firstly, we don't know if they're going to be using the same existing chassis as the current XPS 15 and just upgrading the motherboard and internals and then later on upgrading the shell. It will eventually look like the XPS 13, whether the next model that comes out will look like that. But I think it's inevitable that it will end up looking like the XPS 13. So I will leave some XPS 13 laptop porn up here and you can check out that XPS 13 review. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. So what do we know about it? We know that it's going to have a new display. It's going to be class leading display. I think the current one is the best display on a laptop or one of the best. Some people are saying 5K, maybe. Most importantly for me, I think we want a display that gets a bit brighter, has the same color gamut, but uses less power. That's, I think, the most important thing. We want to have a display that uses less power so we can get one of those high resolution displays and not having that significant amount of battery life less than, say, the full HD display. Wouldn't it be nice if it was HDR? I mean, I'd rather it be HDR than go to 5K, to be honest honest i don't think it would be hdr but i expect it to be brighter i expect it to be better than the last version it's got a lot to live up to in that regard but we're going to get a better display so we should be getting one of these six core h processors so that means six cores 12 threads these are the rumored ones as i said before probably get something like this the i7-8850h which will boost up to four gigahertz single cord up to 4.345 watt parts and that's the thing about this the xps 15 has a 130 watt power supply so it's got to fit within that i don't think they're going to increase how much power it needs so i don't think they're going to go to a 150 or 180 watt laptop so i think it's important to know that it's going to fit within that 130 watts so according to this article frank Azor himself has said there's no 64 gigabyte option which i was hoping maybe there would be but hopefully it stays at least 32 gigs if they do go to the new form factor they may solder in the ram but if they don't solder in the ram you actually may be able to get more than 32 gigabytes in the future when you know 32 gigabytes so dim ddr4 ram comes out but there is definitely not going to be more than 32 gigabytes as an option to buy and if you don't know who frank azor is he's like the head of xps and alienware some people have called him dexter apparently he goes out to miami bay anyone that's involved in industrial espionage or leaks information from alienware or xps or it's just not putting in gets taken out to miami bay in the boat and gets the old dexter treatment i don't know if that's true or not now when it comes to graphics you're not going to get a 1060 max q you're not going to fit that into a 130 watt power supply there or in that heat envelope it's too thin for that especially if they go thinner and lighter with the new chassis new motherboard it will have four times thunderbolt ports that is a given so it's going to have a max q frank azor confirmed that and given that the new xps 2 in 1 which i believe dave 2d has at the moment given that that has probably got more graphics power with the intel vega combination apu in that it's not really an apu they're still separate but on the one die that is actually going to have more graphical power than the gtx 1050 in the current xps 15 so i'm pretty sure 
unless Nvidia release some sort of new graphics card, it's going to have a GTX 1050 Ti Max Q. Now, I actually haven't seen a GTX 1050 Ti Max Q. I've never come across a laptop with that, but this means it should have more graphical power than the RX Vega MGL, which is going to be in the XPS 2 in 1. So, to sum it up, no more than 32 gig, new display, class leading displays, the best displays out there, new graphics card, Max Q. Most likely a 1050 Ti Max Q, 6 core CPU, so 6 core, 12 threads, the Intel Coffee Lake H processors, new motherboard, 4 times Thunderbolt ports, and whether it's in the current chassis or it's going to go to the XPS 13 like chassis, we'll have to wait and see on that. But I'm super pumped for this product. And if you don't know me or know my channel, you'll want to subscribe if you're interested in this because you're going to get the most comprehensive coverage on this product. That is 100% guaranteed. So I think that's about as much as my voice can handle give me a thumbs up if you like this video let me know in the comments are you pumped for the xps 15 i'm super pumped and uh i'll catch you in the next one guys